Hey everybody, it's Paige Evans and I'm popping in to share a new process video with you today. This is using my brand new Bloom Street collection and barcode strips. So I'm actually going to find a cut file in the Silhouette store called Nesting Hearts. So if you open up the Silhouette Design Store, type in Nesting Hearts, it is this cut file, design ID 9542. So download it and then open up Silhouette Studio. In your library, start, ty start typing hearts or nesting hearts and double click on it to add it to a new document. And then I am going to click the show grid option because I want it centered. So I'm going to enlarge it to, it's just a little bit bigger than 10 inches, centering it to that middle line. And then I am going to delete the tiniest heart in the middle because I, I want to write my journaling in the center so, and that heart is just a little bit too small. And then I am going to sketch it. So I'm changing it from cut to sketch. It's going to pick a sketch pen, but I'm actually going to use the pen holder with a pencil in it and everything else is good to go. So click send and it takes just a few seconds. Looks like it's going to take a minute to draw these nested hearts. So you can see the pencil tool is inside that tool holder and it lightly drew the hearts with the pencil. So I'm going to use those as my template for placing the barcode strips. So I've peeled it off the mat. You can see here are the hearts. So we are good to go. So normally I wouldn't trim off the barcode strips from every paper because I do like having the numbered papers because I keep them in order for my scrapbooking. But when I'm using a pattern paper for the background and I trim off that barcode strip, I always save it. So with every collection, I try and find a fun way to use those barcode strips. I have punched them into scalloped borders. I have torn them into little pieces and used them to back a cut file. And I have done this technique before using concentric stars. In this instance, I'm using concentric hearts. So I've lined up all of the barcode strips over on the right and you can see I'm just tearing little pieces and going all around the drawn hearts. It takes a while, I think it took me probably a good 15, 20 minutes to attach all of these paper strips and I'm just using a small dab of double-sided adhesive because I know I'm going to go over all of these hearts with machine stitching. If you don't plan on going over the hearts with machine stitching, I recommend using a strong double-sided tape to attach all these little pieces in place. Otherwise, they'll just fall off and that's not good. We don't want that to happen. So use a strong double-sided tape or if you're going to machine stitch, you can use a not very sticky one so it doesn't gum up your sewing machine. So I've started on the outside heart and I'm working my way inwards, just creating an all over rainbow effect so I don't have two of the same patterns next to each other. And I just love using pattern papers on my layouts. The more pattern papers, the merrier. So I am pulling out my trusty brother sewing machine. It's the cheapest one that I could find at Walmart a decade ago. I never use it with a uh, fabric only with paper and it's worked like a charm all of these years. I'm using a basic running stitch and white thread by Coates and Clark and just stitching through all of these hearts. Here's a look from the different angles so you can see what's happening. Just going around each and every heart. It's definitely not perfect but I love that. I love the imperfections in scrapbooking. It makes it makes it have that homemade homespun look and Stitching also creates a fun texture, so you get that quilt vibe. There's so many reasons why I love adding machine stitching and hand stitching to my layouts. Next, I'm going to create texture. This is a rub-on tool that's included in past rub-ons with my collections. And so I am pushing it underneath all of the paper strips and bending up the edges to create texture. Otherwise, everything is kind of flat, but by bending up these edges, again, you get that fun texture. 
So now I've got two pictures. They're actually not the same picture. If you look closely, Jane's pose is slightly different. So two photos taken within seconds of each other, and I'm going to put them on opposite sides. But to help the photos stand out, I'm going to do the same technique that I showed in my previous process video of splashing watered down white acrylic paint with a toothbrush. And I love the fine mist as well as the larger droplets that it creates. So now I'm just picking and pulling things from my new Bloom Street collection to create two clusters. That way your eye will be drawn to these two photos. And I've tucked a tag and journaling spot underneath the top right photo, adding a few puffy vinyl sticker hearts, a couple sentiment stickers from the cardstock sticker sheets, and now from the four page sticker book, they, there are iridescent colorful heart stickers. So I'm just placing those around to add pops of color. I'm tearing off a little trio of heart stickers from this heart border sticker. Name of the game is hearts here, hearts anywhere and everywhere. I'm using these puffy word stickers, pulling out the joy phrase and then using the mini alpha stickers also from the four page sticker book above it to say so much. So the final title is so much joy because she does bring me so much joy. Final step, I'm going to write journaling with a white paint pen by Sharpie. It's the best white pen that I've ever found. It's always opaque. Just make sure to shake it up and it comes out clear and pops right off the page. Awesome, so here's the finished layout. I hope this page inspires you to hang on to those barcode strips and use them on your layouts. Waste not, want not. Save them, use them, and I hope you are inspired. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Have a great day.